crowds waiting for a shot of hope. As the coronavirus devastates India, people queue outside a vaccination centre in Mumbai. Even though the country is a major coronavirus vaccine maker, many fear there is not enough to go around. In many parts of the country, ill people are queuing outside hospitals. They desperately need treatment. In Delhi, Animesh Kumar is looking after a family member. They've been turned away from two hospitals already. Oxygen in the ambulance is running out. His condition is serious. We're standing here in the middle of the road without oxygen or hope. Hospitals too are running out of oxygen. They are already caring for so many patients with COVID-19 that wards are full. The few deliveries that do arrive are simply not enough to save the patients with COVID-19. I brought him to the hospital and we waited for hours to get him admitted. They didn't let me go in with him. I was trying to contact him all day yesterday. He had a mobile phone but didn't answer my calls. Today the hospital called me to tell me he had died. The government is rushing to open new COVID-19 wards like this one, a brand new centre in Delhi. They say even more beds will be available soon. We're working on increasing the number of oxygen beds on a large scale. Within the next few days, we will increase the capacity to 2,000 to 5,000 beds. We are also preparing 200 beds at the intensive care unit there. But new hospital wards come too late for many victims of COVID-19. At mass cremation sites like this one outside the capital, Delhi, the pandemic's grisly toll is clear. I'm now joined by DW correspondent Nimisha Jaiswal. She is in Delhi for us. Hi, Nimisha. So it is now the sixth consecutive day that cases uh, are above 300,000. Delhi, which are showing a dip in numbers, have also seen a 40% fall in the number of tests they're carrying out. So this may well be a false dip that we're seeing in some cities. In addition, crematoria are absolutely overflowing. Multiple local and national journalists have come out with reports saying that the deaths they are seeing, the COVID protocol deaths in the cremation grounds, are far higher than those being reported. Nimisha, how are people reacting to the government's handling of the pandemic? Well, the despair that we are seeing across the country in hospitals as well as in homes is also translating into anger now every passing day. There are, there has always in the past been two firmly entrenched groups of government detractors and supporters. Now we're seeing more and more people who generally support the government come out and question why exactly India is going through this massive crisis, question why the Prime Minister continued to hold rallies, and question why the government has not taken the coronavirus more seriously. Even long, long-standing strong supporters of the government mm. within the media have to come out and ask what exactly happened here. And, and how has the government responded to, to this criticism? Well, the government is not taking any criticism well so far. It is absolutely refusing firmly to admit any kind of mistakes on its part. Over the last week, we have heard about the government asking Twitter to take down tweets that are critical of its handling of the pandemic. And just earlier, uh, this, uh, earlier today, the government put out a very strong statement from the embassy in Australia criticizing an article in an Australian newspaper that blamed the Modi government for its handling of the crisis, saying that this is misleading and malicious. So the government repeatedly says that they are doing their best, that the vaccine rollout is strong. That India Victorium in Delhi, the bodies lie in the heat for up to 20 hours. And there are more waiting behind these in parked cars driven by grieving relatives. The funeral pyres are so busy that families crisscross India's capital looking for any available space, some of them renting fridges to stop their loved ones from decaying. At another crematorium in the city, there are at least ambulances available to ferry the dead, though they are piled high inside. 
and then another queue for hours before they can be burned. India's official death toll is nearly 200,000 now, and these fires are constant, perhaps the most damning indictment of the Indian government's handling of this crisis to date. At this hospital on Delhi's outskirts, the patients are gasping for oxygen. A hundred more are waiting outside, despite being told there's not enough gas or beds. Their best hope is that if somebody here dies, then that will free up a place. हमारे पास जो सप्लाई है मेडिसिन का जो भी ऑक्सीजन का सप्लाई है बेड ऑक्यूपेंसी है वो डे बाय डे क्या कम होती जा रही है तो कि इंडिया में सिचुएशन इस टाइम पे बहुत बुरी है क्या पता इन फ्यूचर और भी ज़्यादा बैड होती जाए ये सिचुएशन मतलब बहुत ज़्यादा इट इज़ गोइंग फ्रॉम बैड टू वर्स ओनली दिस इज डेली नॉट सम रूरल बैक वाटर एंड द रिलेटिव ऑफ दोज क्यूंग फॉर ट्रीटमेंट आर ट्राइंग टू स्टॉप दम फ्रॉम डाइंग इन द स्ट्रीट my father is in a very critical condition i'm getting no help numbers are given there but nobody is responding numbers are not reachable please help me please my father is dying i can't afford another loss i yesterday i lost my younger brother in the city of ferozabad southeast of delhi this man's family say they took him to hospital but the doctors told them they had run out of oxygen and he should be removed so now he lies amid the rubbish here Torium in Delhi the bodies lie in the heat for up to 20 hours and there are more waiting behind these in parked cars driven by grieving relatives the funeral pyres are so busy that families crisscross india's capital looking for any available space some of them renting fridges to stop their loved ones from decay at another crematorium in the city there are at least ambulances available to ferry the dead so they are piled high inside and then another queue for hours before they can be burned india's official death toll is nearly 200,000 now and these fires are constant perhaps the most damning indictment of the indian government's handling of this crisis to date at this hospital on delhi's outskirts the patients are gasping for oxygen A hundred more are waiting outside, despite being told there's not enough gas or beds. Their best hope is that if somebody here dies, then that will free up a place. हमारे पास जो supply है medicine का, जो भी oxygen का supply है, bed occupancy है, वो day by day क्या कम होती जा रही है. तो कि इंडिया में सिचुएशन इस टाइम पे बहुत बुरी है क्या पता इन फ्यूचर और भी ज़्यादा बैड होती जाए ये सिचुएशन मतलब बहुत ज़्यादा इट इज़ गोइंग फ्रॉम बैड टू वर्स ओनली दिस इज डेली नॉट सम रूरल बैक वाटर एंड द रिलेटिव ऑफ दोज क्यूंग फॉर ट्रीटमेंट आर ट्राइंग टू स्टॉप दम फ्रॉम डाइंग इन दिस इफ यू वंडर्ड वॉट द वर्स्ट केस सिनारियो फ्रॉम दिस ग्लोबल पैंडेमिक माई लुक लाइक देन गजियाबाद ईस्ट ऑफ डेली कम्स क्लोज and who knows how many thousands of indians are living and dying like this and who knows how many funerals beyond this delhi crematorium makeshift cremations in parks and car parks in a country incandescent with grief maybe due to less testing in the last year india was among the few countries to report the lowest fatality numbers But in the last few weeks the figures have risen. India has recorded more than 2000 deaths for the sixth day in a row, now nearing 3000. Hospitals across India are reporting a shortage in oxygen supply as well as ICU beds. The transportation of medical oxygen became a crucial issue. Indian railways undertook the swift running of the Oxygen Express as a challenge. It had delivered nearly 450 tons of oxygen by Tuesday morning and over 90 tons of oxygen is currently en route. The special train has already supplied crucial oxygen to places like Delhi, Lucknow and Jabalpur. In wake of the surge in infections as well as the transmission rate recorded on Monday, member of the government's policy advisory body Niti Aayog, Dr. VK Paul said that people should start wearing masks even inside their homes and try not to invite anyone over aur balki ab main kehna chahunga ki seedha time aa gaya hai ki ghar mein hum waise hi ab mask pehanna shuru kare hum bahar ki baat karte the lekin sankraman jaise hai zyada hai to ghar mein bhi by chance kisi ko aa gaya hai to jahan tak ho ke 
घर में भी जब किसी के साथ बैठे हैं तो मास्क लगाएं तो फायदा है लेकिन डेफिनेटली अगर कोई पॉजिटिव है उसको भी मास्क लगाना है बाकियों को भी लगाना है उसको दूसरे कमरों में रखना है As cases continue to rise, more and more countries have banned air travel from India. More than 17 countries have either imposed the travel ban on India or have taken precautionary steps and have issued advisories against traveling to or from India. Australia has joined a host of nations like the US, Canada, Singapore, UAE, UK, France, Germany and Italy. India's recovery figures remain promising. Out of the total 17.6 million people infected, more than 14.5 million have recovered. Even as India battles its deadly second wave, its vaccination program goes on unabated. India has administered more than 145 million vaccine jabs to date. India is all set to begin its third phase of vaccinations from the 1st of May, under which everyone over the age of 18 will be eligible to receive the vaccine. Registrations for the third phase begin from the 28th of April. Keeping the surge in mind, the Indian government has advised citizens to register online on the Cowin platform. Years of training, but nothing could have prepared them for this. Manjusha Matthew, a nurse and the mother of three young children. A new patient is brought in. She's constantly scanning how others are holding up. Treating as many as they can. Dose is so short, they're having to choose who they might save. Decisions they should never have had to make. At times we break down. Some nights I wake up crying. But I also feel a sense of satisfaction that I'm doing something to help. This is a hospital in a big city and out of reach for most Indians. The situation at this point is so difficult that all the people who work here, everyone who's exposing themselves to risk on a daily basis knows that if they or their families were to get sick, even they would struggle to find the right medical care. In a city overrun, it's hard to leave the trauma behind. The risks follow you. But new hospital wards come too late for many victims of COVID-19. Mass cremation sites like this one outside the capital, Delhi. The pandemic's grisly toll is clear. <laughs> 